Let's now dive into our featured story of the day and discuss the U.S. government seizing all the Bitcoin through the Bitcoin ETF. As I shared with you earlier, BlackRock and Fidelity now collectively own over 138,000 BTC. It took them three weeks. Is the ultimate plan for them to accumulate mass Bitcoin only for the U.S. government to seize it in the name of national security? Let's discuss it because according to Max Kaiser, that's precisely the plan of the U.S. government. So here you go, quoting the high priest, you are not protected against government seizure and the U.S. government plans to seize all the Bitcoin ETF Bitcoin in the interest of national security. If you think they could do that and would do that. Let me know your thoughts, fam, in that live chat. He says it right here. Here's how he outlines it. Number one, the government seizes the ETF for the name of national security. Number two, before they send you your US dollars, or it would be a CBDC equivalent, depending upon the time, right? Number three, the price moves up 100,000. And number four, you pay tax on the gain from the payout. And with what's left, you buy Bitcoin at a price 100,000 higher. Then the price crashes, number five, and number six, you're now sitting on a net losing position from where you started. That's right. I'm going to read you a couple of more tweets and then we're going to dive into this article. So yeah, next tweet says, and actually that's kind of what I just read to you. So here's another one. He also predicts the global total amount of financial instruments on planet earth is roughly $400 trillion. This is when he did the Jimmy Dore interview, FYI. If you missed it, check it out. It was really lit. So Bitcoin would capture a percentage of that. We're talking a one to two million dollar Bitcoin price. Let me know if you can see that in the future. Bitcoin realistically hitting between one to two million per coin. I know it's inevitable and only a matter of time, but I want to know your thoughts, family. So this headline reads, Bitcoin Maxi raises doubt of government seizure, a Bitcoin ETF. That's right. Bitcoin advocate Max Kaiser, the high priest and right hand to Bukele, the head advisor over there for Bitcoin for the people of El Salvador. And shout out to Bukele, who just got reelected for another five year term. Much respect. He asserts that the hodlers of the Bitcoin ETF are not safeguarded against potential government seizure. Max alleges that the U.S. government has intentions to confiscate all the Bitcoin held within the ETFs, citing national security interests as the driving force behind such a move. Now, how would that look like? In my opinion, it could be as simple as Joe Biden writing an executive order in the name of national security. And because Bitcoin is a direct threat to the US dollar and it undermines the US dollar, therefore, we're going to confiscate all of the Bitcoin from Coinbase's custody out of the hands of BlackRock so that we, the US government, can control this Bitcoin. But don't worry, folks, we're going to give you the CBDC or US dollar equivalent, and you're going to be so blessed. Don't worry, we're just going to kidnap all of the Bitcoin and give you the dollars. Hey, what do you think? How do you like my Biden impersonate? That's if he could actually talk. But anyways, I digress. So anyways, he cited an expert from Valkyrie Bitcoin Fund form S1 registration statement that the U.S. federal regulator can force the trust to liquidate the Bitcoin of seize impound and restrict access to the trust assets. 100% they can do that. And let's not forget the 1933 Gold Seizure Act. They're capable of confiscating your wealth. And if they have the power to do so, I think they would exercise it. What do you think, family? Kaiser argues that this would be very much against the decentralized nature of Bitcoin. Note that the spot Bitcoin ETF issues shares against the physical Bitcoin purchases. That's right. However, it remains with the designated custodians and unlike the self-custody. And as you know, not your coins, uh, not your keys, not your coins, not your cheese, not your keys. And please say no to Mickey D's. Recently, the SEC veteran also criticized the Bitcoin ETF applicants while referring to them as opportunists. And uh, quoting Alex talk tweets here, not likely, but not out of the realm of possibility if you read the fine print. And again, it's in the fine print that they can seize it, family. This excerpt from the Valkyrie Bitcoin Fund Form S1 registration statement seizes, impounds, restricts access our outcomes we want to protect our wealth from real Bitcoin is superior. And you only have the real Bitcoin if you're holding the underlying asset, for example, in self-custody. So as Max says here, you are not protected against government seizure and the US government plans to seize all the Bitcoin ETF Bitcoin in the interest of national security. Now, Bloomberg ETF analyst James Safart noted, however outlandish the prospect of this may be, in my opinion, it is the first criticism of Bitcoin ETFs that I have seen from Max in recent days that I guess is technically 
true. 100% their family. Now, Safehart added that one should refrain from investing in Bitcoin ETF if they have concerns about the government seizure or want to hedge against societal collapse. So that's right. And let me break it down in layman terms. If you trust your U.S. government and you don't care to self-custody and you don't want the responsibility and you don't care about holding the underlying asset because you love your government so much, I think an ETF could be a great vehicle for you. Now, if you distrust your government, right? You trust nobody and you want to verify everything and you want to hold the underlying asset. Then it's not even a comparison. It's not even a question, right? Because Bitcoin ETF is not equivalent to self-custody Bitcoin. So choose your weapon wisely because it could make all the world of difference for you and your family for generations to come, right? So the choice is yours. At the end of the day, it's a decision you got to make. There's been a discussion about whether the Bitcoin ETF would be able to garner the same enthusiasm as the gold ETFs. Now, in my personal opinion, I think clearly it's already breaking all records as far as the inflows go. But unfortunately, GBTC dumping and the FTX estate, that debacle uh, dumped massive shares as well. Um, unfortunately, there was a lot of outflows. But I think with the supply shock, incoming with the having and the demand already being 10x the you know supply and it's about to hit 20x after the having in roughly 60 days i think a genuine supply shock is incoming and there's no avoiding it in my humble opinion and that's not even taken into consideration sovereign wealth fund adoption and nation state adoption and the list goes on and on you know what i mean so let me know your thoughts on that and there was another actual interview he did on wired recently entitled why crypto audio logs won't touch Bitcoin ETFs. The arrival of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the U.S. offers easy access to the masses. Purists will steer clear. That's right, because people who understand Bitcoin don't want the fake thing. We want the real thing, and the real thing is you just self-custody your Bitcoin. So I'm not going to read you the article uh, or the interview, but it's very good, and I highly encourage you guys uh, to check it out. Support Max Kaiser, the one and only high priest of Bitcoin. Shout out Max, Stacy, El Salvador. Also, I got to point out now. Bitcoin game theory is in full effect in many different facets. One of them is the ETFs. We got 11 ETFs already approved in the United States early January, about a month ago. It's crushing right now. I shared earlier, BlackRock, Fidelity, already collectively hold 130 thousand plus BTC. It took them like three weeks. Now there's going to be competition coming out of Hong Kong. We've discussed this on the show. They already have the first applicant and they're looking to obviously launch their first ETF. They don't want to be left behind. That's pretty big for the Asian markets. We also have El Salvador. Max already blew the whistle saying we're going to be launching in El Salvador. Bitcoin ETF spot unlike anything else you've ever seen. And unlike any of the ETFs currently exist in the United States, the drastic difference, Bitcoin in, Bitcoin out. Because with the ETF, everything is being done with the USD equivalents. And like I said, could the master plan of the U.S. government seize all of those biddies after BlackRock and Fidelity and all the asset managers continue to do their bidding? Let me know your honest thoughts. Now let's dive into some live Q&A.